Hi guys, I'm Angela Clark and I have set myself the challenge to read as many of the Richard and Judy 2017 Autumn Book Club reads as I can. And first on my list is Ali Land's Good Me, Bad Me. I'll read you the back of it. New name, new family, shiny new me. Annie's mother is a serial killer. The only way she can make it stop is to hand her in to the police. But out of sight is not out of mind. The secrets of her past won't let her sleep, even with a new family and a new name. Millie. A fresh start. Now surely she can be whoever she wants to be. But Millie's mother is a serial killer and blood is thicker than water. This is a fantastic read and I really enjoyed it. It's definitely my debut of the year. I actually read it when it first came out, or indeed before it came out, I was lucky enough to be sent a proof. I think it's important to understand that Ali Land worked in mental health um, previously to writing this and worked with teenagers. And I think the level of characterization she's developed in this shows um, through that. She really understands humans and what makes them tick. This is a story of whether or not the sins of the father are visited on the son, um, though in this case the sinner is a serial killing woman, which is always interesting because there are fewer of those, and she is shocked by her daughter, so it's whether or not um, the daughter is going to be won over, I guess, to the dark side in a simplistic sense, and this novel looks at that and looks at Millie Stroke Annie's development and how she comes to terms with what's happened. It's incredibly taut and incredibly tense, and uh, I enjoyed all of it. I read it in one go and I can't wait to read what Ali comes up with next. Uh, the only thing I would say is that I felt that the final chapter um, didn't quite work for me um, and I wondered if there was outside influence uh, or outside kind of um, steering on that. Um, whether it was an editor or an agent, I have no basis for that, it's just a feeling as a writer. Um, that said, I think it's something that I would and did recommend to loads of people and if you like taught, psychologically complex stories then definitely go for it. Oh, and there are some seriously kind of creepy teenage girl bullying mean girls kind of stuff in here as well which is painful to relive but also so raw and real that it really adds to it. I hope you enjoy it. If you've read it, let me know in the comments below. If you have read any of the other books on the Richard and Judy 2017 Autumn list, let me know. And if you'd like me to read any, then let me know too. Thanks very much and see you soon. Bye.